A lot of the time I use photography to sort of think through the sort of things that I've been reading about. It's very therapeutic and it gives me a way to negotiate the horrific things that I've been reading. It gives me an opportunity to be able to like educate people on the things that I'm reading about through imagery. I think I dabbled in landscapes at one point and it just didn't, it didn't work <laughs> at all. I just found portraiture kind of told a story. I forget almost that I'm looking at myself. I'm just sort of looking at an image and I think that's how I've sort of learned how to appreciate my body because I'm not looking to like get rid of my stretch marks or like my back rolls or anything because it's all part of what I'm talking about. One of the things that struck me about the um, Napoleon Bonaparte series was just, yeah, these, these women obviously didn't want to be in these photographs. They were sort of just posed in a really artificial way in a foreign country where they were being put on display. The photos are taken in the Botanical Gardens in Paris. These women sort of been posed to kind of like stage this exotic scene. A lot of sort of ethnographic and colonial photography was spread around as pornographic material, but it sort of bypassed all of the censorship that other images might have gotten. The images were deemed like educational imagery. I think I'd read so much about like the lack of agency behind these kinds of images. Me then making the decision to place myself in front of the camera and take those pictures of myself. I think it was sort of like reclaiming that space. When people look at my images, I think I'd want them to just be curious to know where everything's come from. I think I quite would like for them to work as um, like a visual access point to this history. Because a lot of the stuff that I'd looked at, I'd only ever read like academic books and it was very inaccessible. The language was really hard to read. I think it, it's like very important to have accessible information about this history because it's something that definitely needs to be spoken about. I think one thing that I find quite important about my process is that every element um, within the image is something that I've actually photographed. Normally I use plants, so I'll go to the botanical gardens and photograph some plants there. It was just a really nice process, just actually walking through the gardens and having like a nice day out and um, not just being cooped up in the studio. I might create some props as well. So I made some tusks and I've made some manila and some like headdresses and stuff. And then I'd photograph all of those like elements separately. My mum sends me up fabric from home. Um, it's all sort of Nigerian fabric. And yeah, I'd photograph that like hung up separately um, to create the background for the image. And then as I'm also photographing those backgrounds, I'll look at the sizes of them to see if I can make any sort of quick click outfits for the actual shoot of myself. I photograph myself. I'll photograph just like various different poses. I'd have researched imagery to go along with that, so I might take some poses from like source material. I think I was drawn to her specifically just because I was looking a lot at sort of this idea of like black inherited trauma and negotiating that trauma and she is um, like a motherly figure. In sort of like Afro-Cuban religion she's been sort of like conflated with the Virgin Mary. The collaging aspect of my work was actually a happy accident. I can create whatever I want to make. Um, I'm not sort of working within um, limitations of the space that I'm working in. Photography's just given me a way to sort of negotiate my own history and learn about my own history and my own culture. I don't ever want to be defined by that history. 
there's so many more things about like black history and black culture that are there to be celebrated. The images I'm making are, are not just about that history, like it's about me, it's about black women as a whole, it's about black people as a whole. I don't think my work, myself, or just black people in general should really be defined by the trauma that um, we've gone through.